Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're making homemade strawberry ice cream, utilizing some of my very own homegrown buried treasure red strawberries. I'm so excited for this. I've managed to keep Benjamin out of the strawberries for the past two days, which is a feat because he loves the strawberries. I get to use my berry picking basket that I picked it up at Tractor Supply this winter, so I'm excited about that too hoping to find four to five cups of strawberries. Uh, this recipe that we are doing today does not call for eggs, so it's an egg-free, cookless recipe. It's very simple to put together. I think active prep time is like 10 minutes, so this should be pretty quick and easy. So let's go harvest first. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to visit most of my strawberry plants to gather up what I need for today's recipe. This is the first little area right here. You can see the red double blooms that they have some strawberries dangling down here. We want to make sure that they're really ripe. Nice and sweet and really good color throughout the whole berry. So this is what we ended up with, two full cartons, I don't know what you call these, baskets. And these are kind of big, so I'm hoping I have four cups. That's what it takes to make a double recipe of this strawberry ice cream. But I do need to just take these inside, rinse them off, even though they've never been sprayed with anything. There was a little bit of dirt and stuff on some of them. So I'll rinse them off, and then I think I'm going to bring everything out here and do all my prep out here on this table. It's so nice out here today. And honestly, the ice cream freezer is kind of loud, so I want it to be plugged in out here rather than inside. much prettier background out here than it is inside anyway. So the only ingredients we need for this ice cream are our strawberries, sugar, vanilla, salt, heavy cream, and milk, which I will bring out in a little while because the first step is to chop up all the strawberries, add some sugar in, and then let them sit for 15 minutes so that the strawberries can absorb some of the sugar. So all I'm gonna be doing right now is just chopping all of these strawberries up into little pieces. And I'm going to hope, which I think I'm gonna have plenty to make a double batch. If I have any extras, I'm going to set them aside and maybe kind of leave them in bigger chunks and add them into the mix right before they go into the freezer so that we can have a few strawberry chunks, but I don't know how it's gonna end up. So let me get these all cut up and then we'll see what we got. This is why it's important to pick ripe strawberries because you know, oftentimes when you don't have a ripe one, there's white on the middle, in the middle. And these, when they're really ripe, are red all the way throughout, which will give a sweeter flavor and it'll give our ice cream better color. You can add red food coloring if you want, but I prefer not to. All right, guys, so I've got two separate bowls of strawberries. I had the perfect amount. Generous four cups right here. These are the strawberries I'm gonna blend for the ice cream so that it's a kind of a chunk-free ice cream. And you could stop at that if you prefer your strawberry ice cream to be like that. But I had these extra right here and I'll add these into the mix later so that we have a little bit of texture and color mixed into the whole thing. I also have fairly stained hands at this point. So what I'm gonna do is take my chopped up strawberries and put them in this bowl, and I'm going to add one cup of sugar, and then we're gonna let it, we're gonna mix it up, and we're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes. There's really not a lot of active steps in this whole recipe. And when we come back, this will be super juicy. The strawberries will release all of their juices. Look at that. Mmm. So good. Okay. Now we wait. So look at this mixture now. This beautiful strawberry syrup with strawberries floating around. Mmm. 
So we are gonna pour this into the blender and blend this all up carefully without splattering myself, hopefully. That's why you wear black. I'm honestly like I'm sizing up how much is coming out of just this. Plus knowing how much of the dairy products I need to add. I might have made a little too much to fit in my ice cream freezer, so I have to freeze it in two batches, which is not a bad thing. All right, time to blend. I just blended it long enough to where it looked like a nice puree. And at this point, you could use a fine mesh strainer and strain out all of the seeds, but I don't mind them. They aren't like, raspberry seeds is a different story. Strawberry seeds don't bother me much at all. Okay, I'm gonna try to squeeze out every, la every last, glad I'm doing this out here. I can just hose this table off when we're all done. Every last bit of syrup. I really wanna lick the spoon right now. I won't. To this, we are gonna add the last bit of sugar, which is one cup. I'm sure that there are substitutions that can be made, but I want it to be a nice, good, sweet ice cream. Okay, four cups of heavy cream, which I think this whole thing equals four cups, but I'm gonna be diligent about this. Yeah, this is not gonna fit in my ice cream freezer. <laughs> How funny. Okay, and two cups of whole milk. One, two. Then we're gonna do a full teaspoon of vanilla. I brought out a half teaspoon, so we're gonna do two of these. And then a couple dashes of salt, like that. We're just gonna mix it up thoroughly. And then I've gotta run downstairs to our freezer and get out the freezer insert for my ice cream freezer. Okay, so I've got my ice cream freezer. This is a Cuisinart ice cream freezer. I don't know if there's anything special about it. It doesn't have a super big reservoir. I was totally thinking it was bigger than it is. I haven't used it in a couple of years. Before I add my mixture in there though, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of vodka to the mix. It won't affect the flavor, but what it will help prevent is the possibility of ice crystals when we put it in the freezer. Because what I'm gonna do is in this ice cream freezer, it'll freeze to about a soft serve stage. And at that point, it takes about 30, maybe 35 minutes. I'll scoop it out and put it in a bread pan and put it in the freezer overnight. So it can freeze up really hard. So it's really easy to get good scoops out of. So. Anyway, I just don't want it to form ice crystals. Sometimes it doesn't and sometimes it does for me. So I'm just going to try to avoid that. It's perfect. Okay, now I'm trying to think, of how is this gonna go when I try to pour it in? Is it gonna make a big mess? Probably, here we go. Oh, look at that. So I'm thinking we do about that much because it will expand as it freezes. I'll do this. Okay, pretty good. And then half of the strawberries. Look at that, that's just juice all on its own. Oh, so much yumminess. Let's go ahead and add these in there. Okay, this goes in, lid goes on. Okay, did I put that on in wrong? No. Oh, I think that's right. <laughs> okay, on. Yes. All right, we're gonna check on it in 30 minutes. We're gonna give this a little bit of a taste test. I don't know if it's all the way frozen yet. Wanna try? It's strawberry. It's strawberry. Do you like it? It's strawberry in your mouth. Strawberry in your mouth? Is it good? I want more. You want more? <laughs> okay. It looks so good. You want another bite, baby? Empty. There you go. This is perfect. So soft serve stage right here. We'll pack it in the bread pan or the loaf pan, and then we'll put it in the freezer overnight. 
and then we will come back tomorrow when we're ready to scoop it out into ice cream cones. Ice cream cones. Ice cream cones. So I'm gonna put a double layer of foil over the top of this bread pan, and then um, it'll go in the freezer. And then what? And then we eat it. Okay. <laughs> so the ice cream has been in the freezer for over 24 hours. It's looking really good. And my parents and brother actually came over to help us eat it. Part of the party is inside, and my mom and Benjamin are out here. Benjamin is very excited. Look at what it looks like, you guys. Look at how beautiful that is. Ice cream. Ice cream. All that color just from the strawberries. We've got a couple different types of well, sugar cone and waffle cone. <laughs> There's chunks of strawberries in it too. Hold on, Sue. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit inside the cone. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Uh oh, that's good enough, right? Oh, yeah. muscle, you get down. <laughs> no way. Here you go, baby. Try it. Is that yummy? Oh, I think hindsight, the chunks of strawberries makes it a little harder to... That's going to make it delicious. I kind of wanted to have those so it had yeah. looked like it had some texture. Yeah, yummy. What do you think? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Mm. I need this recipe. Yeah, I will give it to you. Mm -hmm. It'll be attached to the bottom of this video, Mom. Mm -hmm. In the, de the description <laughs> of the video. <laughs> I'll say I have to come to the video. It's an eggless ice cream, so oh, there's no cooking oh, part. No. It's okay, baby. That's why we're eating them outside. So if you drop a little bit, it's no big deal. Okay. You did yours a lot better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not a professional at putting it on the cone. Uh, so good. But oh, try that. Oh, yeah, yeah, the best strawberry yeah. ice cream I've ever had. The best strawberry ice cream you've ever mm -hmm. had? Sweet. Mm -hmm. That's because it's got the proven winter strawberries. Uh -oh. That's true. Uh -oh. <laughs> I knew that was going to oh, Uh-oh, that's okay. That's we'll just okay. leave it there. Yeah. You can eat the rest of it. Cheers. Cheers. Dad. Cheers, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> it's so good, Benjamin. Really good, Laura. Thanks. Strong. Uh, nice strawberries. Uh -huh. Homegrown strawberries. Wow. Mm. Mm. What kind of strawberries are they? Buried up. treasure, the ones I planted at your house. Mm. Mm. It took, um, I got about five or six cups Wrong of strawberry way, harvest mm. yesterday. <laughs> this would take the end here. It's what way it took. easier. <laughs> what you doing with your cone? Are you eating it from the bottom? It's good. Good. <laughs> <You're> good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong end, bud. Well, the strawberry ice cream was a hit. I am really happy. I mean, seriously, it's such a good recipe. We will link the recipe down below. The berries were perfection. I am so impressed with the Buried Treasure Red strawberries. A lot of my plants that I have in the ground are second year, and a lot of them have really nice big berries. And I'm not kidding when I say, like, I kept ben Benjamin away from the strawberry plants for two days, and I got that many strawberries just in two days. And I have more strawberries ripe today, just since yesterday. I mean, it's crazy. They just keep on producing all season long. I noticed the first year, the um, harvest was good. It wasn't as good as this year, and the berries were a tiny bit smaller the first year. So if you put them in the ground, give them time to establish and put on a little bit of growth. The only thing that personally I would change, I would keep it a smooth ice cream and not put the chunks of strawberries in. The reason why I wanted to do that is because I thought it would make it look prettier and have more texture. Um, they seemed to really like it and they were like, no, you should do it like this every single time. Um, I, I don't know, I couldn't, I had a hard time scooping it up because it would like catch on a frozen strawberry and then my nice smooth scoop of ice cream would kind of fall apart. <laughs> I'm not very skilled in the ice cream scooping department, but it doesn't matter it tasted awesome and I'm trying to think if there's anything special I do to those strawberry plants I don't have to treat them for bugs many of my strawberry plants have straw underneath which helps lift them off the soil and keep them nice um, you know I don't think we even showed me harvesting the berries out of the galvanized tub that I planted earlier this spring that is where I got the bulk of my berries was from like those five plants it was crazy and they had huge berries on them um, and then I fertilize them probably twice a year with garden tone or whatever I happen to have in my hands at the time. It's usually garden tone. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to head inside and go hang out with the family. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.